Welcome back to Satisfactory. After the uh, exploration trip that I had in the last episode, I went out, as I said, and uh, grabbed some of the easier hard drives to get. So I've come back with a little bit of stuff, to put it mildly. Uh, I grabbed 15 hard drives down in the southern forest part, and uh, I found a lot of bacon mushrooms, which is going to be quite useful. And of course, some of these uh, high-end materials like batteries, AI limiters, circuit boards, heat sinks. And uh, I also found two purple power slugs that I just couldn't lie, let lie in nature. We have to add them to the uh, slug worshipping facility. And I also took some time to uh, grab a couple of uh, mycelia so that I get that. And I don't think I have anything in the car. Nope. So let's go add the um, the slugs to this uh, storage container where they belong. And the belt should now be uh, saturated with slugs. Glorious slugs. Exactly. Good, good. Well, we have plenty of hard drives to analyze in this episode and I want to go through them one by one so this will be an episode that is rather heavy on the pausing I am afraid uh, but I do want to go through each and every hard drive and the recipe that we get why I want to take that recipe and so forth so let's just start one of them and uh, I can continue this uh, sorting meanwhile. Don't think I need to have computers in my inventory, nor do I need the black powder. The noblisks I do need. Uh, the rubber I can stick back into this chest. Sort and sort. I have some leaves that I have to deposit downstairs in the... Um, can grab these as well. And we can just go down here. We'll go and deposit that over at the uh, mini constructor loop thing that I've built. Well, I'm not sure if you can call it a loop, considering that it is... Uh, putting out solid biofuel at the end there. Uh, so this is for the wood, and this one is for the leaves. That frees up some inventory. Okay, well, I'm gonna pause the recording and uh, be right back with you when I have the first hard drive uh, research done. Welcome back, which is a weird thing to say when you've only been seeing the pause screen for a split second. Okay, so here we have the signal beacon. And again, uh, as I mentioned the last time I saw this, this is an absolutely useless recipe because it requires crystal oscillators and you don't want to take recipes that require crystal oscillators unless they have something very, very specific for them. For instance, like the uh, crystal computer. That one does have something very specific for it because it means you can make the computers in an assembler instead of a manufacturer. Then we have the charcoal. Um, no. Uh, quick wire stator. I don't think that's a good one. Um, I am not sure. Uh, regardless, I'm, I'm not going to use it, but I need to take one of these. Yeah, okay, so this one is ranked C, so not amazing, but not terrible either. So but we'll pick that one and confirm and move on to the next hard drive. Um, some of you may have noticed that I have a minimap up here, and that is, of course, a mod. Uh, I used that when I was exploring for the hard drives. Um, it is quite handy. Uh, I'll give it that. You can... Uh, Increase the size of it if you want to. Uh, you can drag it around. Uh, you can zoom in using the mouse wheel. So, and you can see... Well, basically what you can see on the minimap is... Well, it's a bit more than you can see here because we can't see the base here. But... Um, 
as you can see, it shows me the base. Uh, I must not hover above it. Uh, it does show me where I am. Uh, and it's a mod, of course. Uh, I don't think I'm going to keep it, because it seems to be a bit unstable. So the only two mods I'm going to keep are the uh, the signs and the uh, the mod where you can set the time of the day, which I find very useful in terms of uh, recording. So the map probably will disappear again, because I have no need of it unless I am... Uh, uh, exploring for hard drives so but I'll pause again and I will be back when this hard drive has been completed uh, in the MAM analysis there we go but I have to change the screen manually like so oh no that's the wrong thing uh, this one and this one yeah mm -hmm. um, I need uh, to get up a third monitor let's see here okay so we get the turbo heavy fuel and the coke steel ingot which uses petroleum coke for making steel ingots that's an interesting recipe although unreliable uh, and we also get the compacted steel ingot hmm okay well let's start with the steel ingots then uh let's see here i think the one we have is the best one but uh that doesn't mean that we shouldn't look at these. So the coke stealing good, fast crafting and high productivity. This is a decent one to translate oil to coal, essentially, as this recipe competes with solid steel ingot. But as the uh, as the guy says, let's see if I can just expand that field. Three extra steps of logistics isn't always fun, and that makes the uh, the. Um, grading of this recipe go way down since all the extra crafting of petroleum coke removes any extra space efficiency so this is a grade c recipe but if you have, it's not like you don't have enough space to build in this game so it's uh, if you have a lot of oil and you can use the sink for uh, for instance the plastic and or the rubber i don't see why this is a bad um, recipe considering 100 per minute then we have the compacted steel ingot. This one... <laughs> yeah, this one isn't getting very good <laughs> grades. This is a very meh recipe. And I can see why. It's utilizing sulfur, which is a very rare resource, to craft slower ingots. But if you have extra sulfur, as he says, it does translate sulfur into steel, which could be valuable. But yeah, this is a meh recipe. I agree with that. Grade C. Now the uh, turbo heavy fuel. That recipe, on the other hand, I believe is quite nice. But I am wrong. The lower efficiency simply means you should never make turbo fuel from heavy oil directly. But if you have extra, if you have extra spare heavy oil from other production, by all means, use it this way. Again, it uses compacted coal. Um, I'm not impressed by any of these. I think I'll just take the coke steel ingot and we'll go and move on to the next hard drive. And with that I shall return in about 10 minutes my time. <laughs> and there we go. It just completed. So insulated crystal oscillator. It uses AI limiters, huh. but it does produce a fair amount more crystal oscillators. And we get the iron alloy ingot and the flexible framework. That one I'm not going to take at all. I don't see the point whatsoever to take the uh, space elevator recipes unless I'm forced to because all three of them are. I'm not even going to bother uh, looking at that. Well, since I have it in front of me. It's a C recipe. The productivity is stronger here than with smart plating, but a 50% uh, ratio hurts a lot, and the extra logistic steps make me not want to use this. And I tend to agree. Adding rubber to the uh, to the um, recipe seems well inconvenient. 
The iron alloy ingot, um, I think we've had that multiple times before. It's a very strong recipe that converts copper into extra iron ingots, uh, but it's mainly an end game recipe. I will take that if the insulated crystal oscillator is a crap recipe. Where is that? Here we go. Insulated crystal oscillator. Though this ends up trading iron for some rarer resources, it's at least not a hit of productivity and it crafts much faster, which helps. But it's still less than two per minute from a manufacturer, which is painfully slow. But it has been given the uh, A tier recipe, where the S is the best. So I guess we'll take that, because making the AI limiters is actually dirt cheap, considering it takes just copper sheets and quick wire. Let's grab that and move on to the next hard drive. See you all soon. And here we go. Let's see what we got this time. Oh, expanded pocket dimension plus five inventory slots. This one is very tasty though. Um, let's see here. The uh, seismic nobelisk requires crystal oscillators I can almost assuredly say that that one is yeah that's an F uh, the uh, grading on that is just no you don't need more efficiency for your boom booms and you definitely don't want to deal with crystal oscillators being part of that chain the cheap silica however I believe that one is quite good I might be wrong though no <laughs> it's not at all uh, what the author says is um I think coffee stain messed up, or they need to look up the definition for cheap. This recipe is worse in almost every way. It's incre incredibly slow, uses way more power, and it's actually less efficient. So, if you have some limestone nodes sitting around unused, this is an option to save a little quartz, but you spend lots of power and space to do so. Yeah, we don't really need that because there's no less than six quartz nodes just outside of the desert that we can pick up. So let's go with the expanded pocket dimension. Five inventory slots, that's always useful. And we go on with the next hard drive. And we are back, but I have to manually change the screen. So there we go. So here we have the electrode circuit board, uh, recycled rubber, and the signal beacon. Uh, I'm not even going to bother looking up this. I think we already uh, discussed that earlier. The electrode circuit board. See here. This one is not great. You save the copper steps, but use more power, more space, and don't really get anything out of it. The recycled rubber, on the other hand, now, that's a different story. Um, let's see here. Recycled rubber. Where are you? Where are you? So both the recycled rubber and the recycled plastic recipes are strong. They turn one fuel into one plastic or rubber respectively, and you can easily set up loops that only produce one material from fuel. When combined with diluted packaged fuel, you can turn three crude into eight fuel, which can then become eight rubber or plastic. And for those of you who watched my previous series in update three, you will know that I made great use of both of these recycled recipes. And I will definitely take this because it is massively helpful. And it's also one of the recipes that I was referring to in my uh, basic refinery setup episode, where I said that we don't have enough room for what's going to come in the refinery eventually. Let's take that and move on to the next hard drive. And we are back. Now we got the uh, heavy oil residue opener blueprint, the quick wire cable and the gunpowder. So let's start at the uh, top here. And have a look at the uh, heavy oil residue. Uh, an interesting uh, recipe. This recipe is very strong to pursue making heavy oil directly and it makes diluted fuel so much better. So we're going to need this one actually because diluted fuel is something that I uh, 
will desire to make at some point. And then we have the quick wire cable. Uh, I expect that that one is not really necessary for, at least not for me. It does have strong productivity numbers, even in the weighted category. However, you're still using two rare resources to replace copper, which, especially when using pure copper ingots, is much more readily available. So this is ranked C. Then we have the gunpowder. Um, finding it isn't that easy though. I probably just could use a search on this thing. There we go. That doesn't make sense. The alternate recipe for gunpowder is fine black powder. But it is this one. Maybe they changed the name for it. But it's the same recipe, I see. Uh, so what this says is that it's a B. Uh, because you shouldn't pick it above other recipes that you need. Uh, but it is more efficient. So it's not a bad recipe. We will go with the heavy oil residue though, so that I have that... Uh, and don't have to run out hunting for hard drives for that in case I get the uh, other recipes like the diluted fuel and the uh, recycled plastic. Next hard drive. And here we are. So we have the uh, plastic smart plating, um, which is again one of the recipes for the space elevator material. It's not a useless recipe. It has a good unweighted productivity, so you get a lot of ore savings, um, but it's slower for the same space than the vanilla one. The adhered iron plate, I don't know what he thinks about that one. Uh, it's a reinforced iron plate. Yeah, it's using an oil product in terms of rubber, and the uh, stitched one that we're using is the best one in the game. So, yeah. Crystal computers, I want to take that because I, I've been facing those rather strongly. There is a better one, which is the Caterium computer, but the Crystal computer is a strong recipe, but it's highly complicated because of what it needs. Uh, and these things craft with one per minute, although we do have the ultimate recipe that we can uh, potentially use, which will actually uh, leave out the oil from the... Uh... No, the standard recipe doesn't use oil. The alternate one does use oil. Uh, but anyways, we're going to take this one. It's a B recipe, whereas the Caterium computer recipe is an S recipe. And that's the best one. And I think I'll link that uh, the link to the um, recipe analysis in the description of this video if you're interested in uh, seeing that yourself because it is a very useful document. It might be a bit dated, but I don't think so. So uh, definitely worth uh, checking out if you're uncertain about what recipes to take. There we go, moving on to the next one. And here we are. Now we have the uh, choice between polymer resin, turbo heavy fuel and coated cable. Let's start with the coated cable, since that's high up on the list. The coated cable is... Well, it's a B-tier recipe, but it does use an oil product. So, there is that. So if you need cables to be easier on your copper supply, then this recipe isn't um, all that bad. It also produces 67.5 per minute, which is quite substantial. But that, of course, means that it uses a high amount of the heavy oil residue as well. But it is definitely an option. Then we have the, uh, I think, turbo heavy fuel and polymer resin should be around the same area in here. Polymer resin. This one is very inefficient. It's a C tier recipe, so not interested in that. And the turbo heavy fuel is also a C uh, to your recipe. Uh, we had that earlier. Let's take the coated cable then. Uh, these will probably 
appear again later on, but um, I need to take one of them, obviously. And onwards we go. And here we are with yet another hard drive. And we start off with the high-speed wiring, which, again, uh, I don't think I'm going to take that. Uh, it's a C recipe, as are all of these three alternate recipes for the um, space elevator parts. High-speed connector? That's, that doesn't strike me as at all, to be honest. Um, let's just move on to the pure quartz crystal. So, add some water, and it's water. Yeah, right. And then you get quartz crystals out. It's a um, B-tier recipe. Uh, as the author says, what's not to like here? Add some water and get more quartz. Higher power cost and space requirements are all you have to look out for. So, yeah. Um, it's a decent recipe. I might take it because I'm not sure about the fused quickwire. Do I really need that? Nah. Slower speeds, more power, and 109% mean productivity isn't really worth all the extra work. It does translate some copper into caterium, which is something everyone may need at some point. So it is good to use, utilize if or when you need it. But I don't need it. There's a pure caterium node that I haven't even tapped uh, not too far off the base. So I'll take the pure quartz crystal uh, recipe and move on to the next hard drive. There we go. Now we have the uh, quick wire cable, which uses rubber, so I'm not interested in that. We have the compacted steel ingot, which I am also not very interested in. And we have the heavy flexible frame that uses rubber for making heavy modular frames. I'm not sure if that's a good one. The healthy alternative recipe, relevant boost on productivity and speed, but doesn't does require an oil setup. I prefer heavy encased frames, so don't prioritize this one highly. Uh, I don't remember if we have the other one. No, we don't. So we want the other one, which is heavy encased frame. Um, but out of these, I will take that one. So, moving right along to the next one. Here we are. Uh, this time I'm not even going to go into these two, because I've done so before. Uh, I am going to pick the polyester fabric, but let's have a look at whether or not it's a good recipe. Uh, having uh, the ability to automate uh, fabric is nice, uh, because then we don't need the um, biomass for it. But this is a C recipe. Uh, it used to be a D recipe. Uh, the only benefit of this is that it lets you automate something that isn't automatable. Um, it's a consumable, so the author of the analysis personally don't find this amazingly valuable to automate. Um, but it is useful to have, and I probably will have a container filled with polyester fabric so that I don't have to handcraft it. So getting that one and moving on to the next hard drive. And here we go, and I need to change the scene manually again. So we've already been through the cheap silica and the gunpowder, so those are out of the question. But here we get the, uh, the modular frame recipe that I was uh, referring to earlier. This is the... Um oh, it does have a new name, but this is an S-tier recipe. Um, so the comment from the, uh, the guy who uh, have wrote uh, or written the guide is that this is another no-brainer. Coffee stain, please don't remove some of these recipes. They are amazing and are better in every way. No extra steps, extra productivity, faster crafting time, wonderful. Now, let me just double check that this is the correct one. Eight modular frames, ten um, encased industrial beams, 36 steel pipes and 22 concrete, which outputs three heavy modular frames. This is the correct one, and this is one of the best recipes in the game, so definitely going with that one. Confirm that, and moving on to the next hard drive. And here we are. 
we can right away discard the idea of the rubber concrete recipe because I'm not going to use rubber to make concrete uh, even if the uh, guide would say that that was an S recipe I would not be interested but this is a C recipe uh, electrode circuit board takes rubber and petroleum coke to make circuit boards that's an interesting recipe that I don't think I've seen before um, but as expected this one is not great you save the copper steps but use more power more space and you don't really get anything out of it except for the circuit boards of course and then we have the encased industrial pipes where we can use steel pipes instead of steel beams to make these this is a no-brainer recipe uh, yes it is a bit slower than the other one but it is far far better than the default recipe so this is the one that i'm going to take of these without even questioning uh, the decision moving on to the uh, next hard drive and see you soon And here we are, and the game certainly likes to give me uh, these uh, hard choices. The iron alloy ingot? No, we, we don't want that. But the diluted packaged fuel? That is a recipe I absolutely must have. I would also like to get the Caterium computer. Um, so for the computer, the Caterium computer is an S recipe. Uh, more productivity in all metrics, 50% more speed, power savings, great stuff, and it even saves a logistics step. So that one is good, uh, but the diluted packaged fuel is also uh, <coughs> tier S fuel. Uh, there is the extra complexity of packaging and unpackaging, but this gives you a ton more fuel per crude oil. Even if all you do is uh, make rubber, you still end up getting four fuel per three crude oil and you get free rubber to boot. So this one is really, really good. And I think I'm going to take the diluted packaged fuel because we already have the crystal computer. And uh, that's the one that I intend to use uh, for the time being, at least. So, yeah, we will go with this one. This one will return later on. And the next hard drive. And here we are. Now we get the opposite situation where I get three recipes that are all basically crap. Um, I don't think it matters which one I'm going to pick up these. I'll just take the charcoal one because that won't mess up the um, recipes in the other uh, manufacturing facilities so let's just take that and scan the next one and here we are we've already gone through the fine concrete and the seismic nobelisk and we don't want those so uh, this caterium circuit board uh, i somehow think we looked at that as well uh, but it is an A tier recipe, definitely a good alternative for circuit boards as well, but the silicone circuit boards are more valuable in the long run, but we haven't gotten that, so let's take that and move on to the next one. We're almost done now. And we are back. Change the scene and manually. There we go. So we have the uh, coated iron plate. Uh, this one is a C tier recipe, um, obviously, since it's using plastic. Turbo fuel, we've been through that. And now we have the copper rotor. I don't think that is. Uh... Well, it is a good recipe. Uh, it has a 97% mean productivity. And it has almost triple the SS and huge power savings, which makes this a great recipe. It also works really well with either of the copper ingot alternates and or the copper sheet alternate. I, but I don't really need any of these. Uh, I'm going to take the copper rotor one, I think. Uh, yeah, I'll take the copper rotor one. Three to go. And here we are again, and I have to change that screen manually. And again, we're presented with three choices where I don't really want any of them. 
I'll just grab the coated iron plate recipe and move on to the next hard drive. And apparently I managed to click the button before I actually intended to. Um, let's see here. Sorry about that. So I got these three recipes here. Um, plastic smart plating is still a no. Fine concrete is a no. And rubber concrete is a no. So all of these are no's. I don't know which one to pick out of this. Uh, uh, let's just go with uh, rubber concrete. And the final one will be back soon. And here we are. Now, the game isn't being very kind to me because I don't need any of these recipes. Uh, we're going to take the adhered iron plate. Uh, we've already gone through all of these, so I don't see any point of uh, looking them up and explaining what tier or ratings they have. So, there we go. Now I have uh, researched all of those hard drives. Uh, is there anything else in the MAM that I want to research currently? Uh, this one? No. Caterium, we have the uh, high-speed connectors, which we can research. Takes three seconds. Uh, the smart splitter. Let's get the plastic for the uh, high-speed connectors, so we can do that. Caterium and high-speed connector. Can't afford. Ah, I don't have enough um, quick wire. That's not too far away, though take one of these and there we should have enough to do it so start research that takes only three seconds so that's fine and that enables us to get the inflated pocket dimension we need 50 uh, high-speed connectors for that I might handcraft those we have the mark 3 power poles that requires 100 high-speed connectors, and of course the supercomputers, uh, those we don't need yet. I don't remember what's down here, but I think it's a sp another splitter type. Uh, mycelia, uh, the parachute, nah, not yet. Power slugs were done, quartz, we have the... Um, yeah, I did the map, of course, because the minimap thing that I have, that mod doesn't work without the map. Uh, so we have the uh, the radar. Uh, I don't think I'm going to require this anytime soon. We have the radio signal scanning. And we have the radio control units. I believe we need radio control units to build the radar tower. Uh, but, yeah. In sulfur, we still have the rifle and the uh, rifle cartridges, cartridges to research. And other than that, it's this here. I'm not sure what's down there. I don't remember either. But for now, I think that uh, this episode being the way that it is, probably have made some people just turn off the episode because this probably wasn't the most exciting episode for many people. Uh, so in the next episode, we'll be going back to uh, construction work. I will expand the uh, factory a bit. Uh, prepare for going up to the next level and uh, that'll I, that I will do in between episodes and then I think we are going to start on the production of um, the uh, heavy modular frames and as promised I will show how to build uh, the basic recipe before I go to the alternate recipe that I will be using, which I believe will be the number two there. Getting three out instead of one out per minute is obviously a better deal. I also want to make the uh, crystal oscillators, and I think we want five machines for that. 
and then we want to go get the uh, crystal computers so there's a lot of things coming up now and i might also have to expand the uh, the power grid but i'm wondering if it's necessary to expand the power grid with a coal power or if we can instead expand the power grid by using fuel generators since we have so much oil we will revisit that too in uh, some upcoming episode but for now if you have any questions or comments please do leave them in the uh, comment section uh, or join us in the discord server which you will find the link to in the description of this video and I've also made an announcement on the Discord server in regards to uh, if you have a satisfactory factory that you would like me to uh, showcase on the channel. I would be uh, very interested in having a kind of a dedicated series to showing off other people's factories and works. So you'll find the information for that in the Discord server in the announcement channel. So if you're interested in that, please do join the Discord. But for now, thank you all so much for joining me, and I will be seeing you all in the next episode.